Hello everybody, we have some E34s here. Now, if you've been watching the channel all year, you will know that we bought a lot of BMWs at the start of the year, including these two right here. This one is the one I bought and I did actually sell it and it's not even mine anymore, but it is still here. Uh, its life is unsure of what's gonna happen to it, but it's gonna be hanging around for a little bit longer. However, this is Lewis's heap of junk. Probably the worst one out of all of them. 518 manual E34 Touring. It's a facelift, disgusting. And it's incredibly rotten. Obviously, with all of these cars, they all need a, a lot of recommissioning. Now, this one actually runs, it doesn't need an engine or anything, but we are now starting to do some work on it because Lewis is nagging me and I've been putting it off for ages because it's just rubbish and it's rotten. So yeah, first job is to get it round to the unit and get it stripped because this car needs a lot of work. It's very, very rotten. I've got to push this round on my own. So if I die at the end of this, you'll know why. Take the battery out of that and then move this out of the hole I've just pushed it in because it's now stuck in the mud and I can't push it on my own. Oh, I hate this car already. The joys of working on your own. <laughs> Much better. Out the hole now. It was all the way in there. Oh, I hate this car so much. Now, I was about to say I don't actually hate this car, and then I was reminded that I do because it's very rotten. Now, I'm actually exaggerating, it's not actually that bad, but it does need a lot of things doing, so let's go through it. Subframe mounts behind it, it's all grotty, all around this inner arches here. We've got the jacking points, the sills, it's all rotten all the way up to here. We've got all the bushes that need doing, subframe bushes, all of that. All the lines, look, if you go, where is it? Like here, they are proper falling apart, which we have new ones, same again, rotten on that back edge. Inner sill's all right until you get to here, where there's jacking points, both sides, both severely rotten, and we're gonna have to take the wings off to fix that properly. It needs all its bushes and stuff on the front, discs, pads, flexies, everything full service get it roadworthy and the first protocol to tackle is absolutely everything back here so dropping the subframe out stripping everything getting it all ready getting all the edges cleaned up to see how rotten it actually is and then we'll go from there so let's get it stripped subframe removed. Now, Lewis seems to think that this car is not that bad, and it is. Look. All up there is grotty, all in there is grotty, all up that seam is grotty. These little bits, jacking point. Ugh, it's just the same story. It's like every single car from the 80s and 90s is going to look like this now. So it's like, need to save them <laughs> and here I am saving them apparently um yeah this is not really fun I'll be honest grotty I don't like that ugh ugh I just got brake fluid in my head as well brilliant for god's sake 
Look how scabby it all is. I mean, it's all bolt on stuff, but like, poor car, man. It's been through it, but I'll get it fixed, I guess. I'll get it fixed. Just need to uh, cut it all out and start again, more than likely. First plan of action is to wire wheel it and see how far all of it goes back. You can actually see that is the middle of the bush for the suffering. So yeah, we need to get this out to do those anyway. Fun. Bye. It's the next day, brake fluids leaked out everywhere. I'm about to grind this back into, well, hopefully some remnants of some metal, but three, two, one. Uh, yeah, crusty. See, didn't look too bad. That whole edge disappeared all the way down. All this, I mean, we knew that was gonna be gone. Majority of this, look on the inside, look, rotten. This top edge, look, that's all rotten around there, um, which is less than ideal. Luckily, that panel there just sort of like goes over the top of here. The problem is getting it out in one piece without disturbing anything. Um, this little edge here is okay. And that panel starts from underneath this panel. If you look here, that lip. So we need to replace this edge here and this piece here, which just basically spots over the top. Um, and then from there, just figure out the rest of it. Other side, it's pretty good. Like, it's actually really good. Again, need to replace this edge up to about here. Um, but all of this bit up here, all the subframe piece, that's good. This piece again in here, no good. Ah, uh, very, very rotten. Um, I'm gonna start by cutting the outer, inspecting the inside, and then seeing how much metal is left and see if we can repair it in situ. This inner edge needs repairing as well. Oh, stop buying these rusty cars. And we're trimmed back. Luckily, the jacking point is all good. Just de-skinned it up to here. I think we're gonna have to repair this bottom section from here up to the end. And then I can make this panel, which goes round and just sort of buttons up there. And then as you can see, this panel here folds on onto it. So it will spot down there. But I need to cut this out. But as I was blowing it with the airline, I blew a hole in the <laughs> fuel lines. So I should probably take them off before I continue on uh, cutting and welding, which is really annoying because um, I don't want to do it yet because there'll be open fuel everywhere, but I have no choice now. Little section cut out of there, so we could do that edge just on there. One little piece at a time. This is going to be quite time consuming and this is the easy side. Something a little bit like that. Something like that. So while that's drying there, obviously it is slightly out of shape and I need to hammer and dolly it because the sill isn't exactly straight on the bottom. And, uh, the back edge there obviously follows that contour. So I've got to make sure the sill fits on the outside now and then I can finish off the inside. So yeah, these are our replacement BMW seals which look to be galvanized, which is potentially the worst thing ever because they weld like shit. But what can you do? There's no other option around, I don't think. And uh, we have the panel. See, there is a gap. I lost my reference point and now I've got to beat it into position, which is fine. It's quite man maneuverable. So it's not like I can't just bend it back, but I've got to get this fitting nicely on the outside. Probably push a little bit inwards and then get this fitting perfectly, then beat that back into position. Um, and then obviously treat the inside of this before I weld it on there. Nice. 
What's nice is the panel has the return edge so you can fold the bottom of the sill back round on itself after you've welded it. So it looks a little lower there, but trust me, it's not. Um, just got to scribe around it now. That is all fitted up, tacked in. Now the fun to get it all welded together and get the bottom bent in. But I want to get a lot of it welded and then I'll start manipulating it from the bottom just so it's got a lot more strength, you know what I mean? Nice. Manipulated. Nice. Now I've got to get this piece in there somehow. Probably need to trim it back a little bit now because it's moved a bit, but yeah. Piece by piece. Got that little piece welded in underneath, all ground up. And now I've just finished welding the outer sill for a little uh, cheap, nasty quality sill repair panel. It didn't weld too bad. So yeah, now I've got to grind that up and then finish off this area, which should be good. One of these, oh, I can't do it with one hand. One of these goes in there. Paint the back side of that. Just folded that lip tight around it and then obviously I'll seam seal it all the way along. Nice. And then the one last panel goes in something like that. So let's make that. And that is welded on there, spotted on the back side. And that is basically all finished. Everything's all solid. Obviously, I'm going to prime it, get it sealed up. And I do need to just grind the excess off weld on here. And then that corner will be done. Obviously, I'll get the seam sealer down that edge, all along there, all along here, and around there as well. Pleased with it. Pleased with it. So yeah, not bad. Working with these panels is never fun, but they do the job. It's all protected on the inside. All I need to do now is obviously seam seal it, paint it, and then cavity wax the inside, and that should be good for a very long time. Um, yeah, not bad. What do you reckon? Let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously, I'm now about to tackle the other side, so you don't want to see me do that twice. So let's see if I can get it done before the end of this video. It's currently Friday and today's video is going out this evening. So let's see what happens. I'm a bit busy, so I have to be spread out over a couple of days, but wish me luck. Arguably, this one is a lot worse and I have to take this top section of the arch out to replace and probably a lot more of this bit here. So yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot more work involved, but Let's see what happens. I've just realised something. You can hit that subframe stud up into the cabin. Yeah, look. I thought they were welded on. I just worked around that stud. And I'm going to just hit it up. I guess it's nice to find it out now. For God's sake. Look at this sill panel, look. All right, you gotta get it straight, right? So that's straight. Look at the swage line, look how high it is compared to the actual factory. And that is, well, as good as straight. It's probably, it, well, it is in fact lower than it needs to be. And then the sill itself just hanging so far down. So. Out, I finished. It's 
also tied around all the way in there. I've just got to make this panel and this panel down here, but I'm very busy and I have a sleeping companion. So that's it for the Monday. Um, we're going pumpkin picking, but yeah, out of done, that side finished. Just got to finish the inside. I'll do that off camera. Um, yeah, I did end up slitting it there. You can probably see just there and then up there and then taking a section out there to make it all fit nicely it was a bit of a pain but needs but must. yeah that is it for this video i'm sure a few of you are excited to see the touring is actually getting some progress because i know a lot of people do ask about where those last cars went and there they go so yeah thank you for watching um let me know what you think about the touring do you think it's a waste of time because it's a 518 I do, but whatever. Lewis likes his cheap, terrible cars. Yeah. Have a good week. Subscribe. Everyone seemed to like the last video of the prelude as well. It's gone down fairly well. Um, sorry that I sold it, but I promise you what I have agreed to buy, you will enjoy a lot more. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Goodbye.